Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Etsy themed video. A lot of you guys probably don't know that my husband and I own a little Etsy shop and this is my office area. It's mostly kind of me who does all the posting of the Etsy stuff and shipping the orders out. So this is my fun little side project. We sell like rocks, minerals, crystals, jewelry supplies, all the stuff in like the rock and mineral category. And today I actually have an order to package. Someone ordered two opals. So I thought that that would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys the behind the scenes of how I package an order and then maybe we'll take it to the post office together. And I also wanted to give a little tour of the office, kind of how my workflow goes. Um, I have this little shelf with like inventory, another little thing with more inventory here. It's just gonna be a fun little Etsy theme day. I've never done a video like this, so if you guys enjoy the Etsy content and want more, I can totally do that. It would be really, really fun. And also, if you want to check out our shop or follow the shop on Instagram, which is a great way to support our little small business, I will put the Instagram here in the name of the shop, which is Dragon's Den Minerals. Uh, we came up with that name because Derek owns a mining claim where we go digging rocks. He's owned it for like 10 years and it's called the Forgotten Dragon Mining Claim. So we came up with Dragon's Den Minerals to kind of match the dragon theme. So without further ado, let's jump into the little tour. So here is an over view of my little Etsy workstation area. This is my main desk where I have my computer set up and I got our Etsy shop pulled up Dragon's Den Minerals. Um, we want to eventually change this banner out for something else but that's what we got for now. This is obviously where I, I do a lot of like posting our listings and kind of getting the orders ready to ship out. Over here I have a little piece of paper. This is where I do the product photography. And I have two little lights that I can turn on. It's literally just a blank piece of paper. Most of the stuff that we take pictures of is really, really small. For example, it would be something like this big. This is a little opal mosaic thing. And I have a little sticky note thing and I have my two scales. This one's for weighing like really small stuff and then some of the bigger stuff or the packages I also weigh on there. And I have some random little decorations kind of tucked back there. I usually have them more pulled out but I had to put something here the other day so they're kind of hiding but we have some of our um, thunder eggs. These are from Derek's mining claim or our mining claim uh, and they are cut so I just kind of have a few little things around for fun decorations and also look at this. This looks like Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castles, so I don't remember where Derek found it, but we're never gonna sell this. We're gonna keep it forever. It's so cute. And then moving over, we have another desk. We actually just recently move this around so this is kind of new within the last month um this desk used to be going like this way and this shelf used to be in our closet that's back there uh we moved the shelf here and i got the inventory kind of set up a little bit better and then the desk here so i kind of have like one super long like little setup and this is kind of where i do all my shipping we got a roll of tape um, some other tape rolls and stuff some packages it's kind of a mess right now these are what we mostly use just some little black ones because most orders are pretty small um, then I just kind of have some supplies. We got some bubble wrap. We also have a bunch of these little baggies that I put the orders in. I also have this little box of little like freebies. There's just a bunch of like little random things that I can throw into people's orders. I have a few rocks here that are laid out that I need to post. Um, Derek usually kind of puts some stuff out for me and tells me what everything is called so that I know uh, what they're all named. And then there's some more here that I need to post um, that have the names written on them. And of course, Sylvanas Windrunner and the map of Azeroth to make it cozy. And then moving on to our shelf, which pretty much has all of our inventory and stuff. Um, up here, literally just some random rocks, cute little treasure box thing. I have some black tissue paper that I sometimes use when I'm packaging orders. And then this calendar thing that we don't even really use, but it's there. And then just here's some of our uh, stock. I just kind of have it all set up. These are like the cut geodes that we have for sale. And then I have all this kind of like little stuff. Some of them are empty, but yeah, that's kind of all of our inventory. And pretty much everything that's down here on these bottom two shelves is stuff that still needs to be posted. So it's not listed on our shop right now, but it's just kind of all the excess stuff. And same with over here, we have this whole like little cart with more excess stuff that needs to be posted. So there's still hundreds of things to post, but we're just kind of slowly posting things as we go. And also look at my little assistant down here under the desk. Are you helping? <laughs> Neo. 
What are you doing? He's so cute. I love him. He's probably going to attack my feet when I try to go under here. Now for the really fun part where we're going to be packaging up the orders. So I have it pulled up here so that I can figure out the exact opal that they wanted because for this listing there was eight to choose from and they chose two of them. So I'm going to find the exact ones, dig them out, and I'll show you guys. So here's actually a better look at the listing that they chose from and they chose number six and number eight. So it's gonna be this guy here and this one here. We can actually see on this picture I have them labeled. So these are the ones that I have to go find. Now we're over by the shelf and these ones, someone actually just ordered one recently so I know exactly where they are. And we don't have them like labeled, like I don't know which one is number six and number eight. So I just have to visually look through these until I find it. I think right now we have two different listings where you can pick from a few different opals. So I got two little baggies of them to check through. Here is the two opals that they ordered. The one on the right is number eight and the one on the left is number six. So these are obviously in their little plastic packaging things. They have like little numbers on them that are super old from when Derek first bought these a long time ago. So I'm gonna scrape these off and probably go to the bathroom and use some rubbing alcohol to get the stickiness off. I've found that that works pretty well. So now I just gotta try to peel these things off. There we go most of it comes off but it's kind of a process so that one is mostly cleaned off but you can see there's still kind of a sticky residue so i will fix that in a little bit and then there's the other one mostly peeled off as well so i got some rubbing alcohol and i'm just going to dip a q-tip in it i think that this works i don't know i didn't even look it up but i feel like i've heard people talk about how this helps with sticky stuff so that's what i do and I just rub it on there and it seems to help to break it down. Um, this usually isn't something I have to do with a lot of orders. I think it's only the opals that are in these little containers. So just kind of a few extra steps to get it looking nice. And then I just brought a tissue so I can kind of clean it up, wipe it dry. And now there's no residue. So now that we have that done, we can now package these up, which is the part that I'm actually really excited to show you guys. So this is how I like to package stuff. Basically, I start with grabbing some bubble wrap, and then I'm going to grab some scissors, and I basically am just gonna cut some strips of bubble wrap that are that's long enough to wrap it up. So it's nothing perfect, just a little strip. And then we'll just cut one more. And basically what I do is I just literally roll this up in the bubble wrap to make sure it's extra cushioned. And then just the same thing with the other one. Sometimes it doesn't end very nicely, but I'm going to be throwing a piece of tape on there too. So just using some regular little strips of tape, I'm just going to tape off the end so that it's nice and contained. We got two little bubble wrap guys. Sometimes I'll like tape it all the way around, but I don't want to make it too hard for them to open it. It's just for protection, so it doesn't really have to look that good. Next, I'm going to grab some black tissue paper. And I'm just going to cut a little piece off of this as well. And then I can save the rest for another time. I'm also going to cut this one in half again. I'm just going to wrap this little guy up in the tissue paper. Grab another little piece of tape. And now we have a little black tissue paper guy. And just the same thing again. And now they're all wrapped up in tissue paper, so lots of padding so they don't get damaged. Next thing, I'm just going to grab one of these little black baggies. Can you guys tell that I like black stuff? Okay. 
I like to try to get them side by side if I can, and these ones were able to fit. Finally, almost the last step, I'm going to pick out a free little stone to give them. Ooh. Um, so I'm gonna pick from these three. I think that I like this one, the blue one. I think it matches the opal theme. I'm just gonna throw that one in there loose so it's just chilling in there with it. And then finally, I'm gonna give them a little um, thank you card that has a code on it for 10% off their next order. Um, when we get our business cards in the mail, I'll probably just throw a business card in there. And then there is the finished baggie ready to go. And then I'll be putting it into one of these little black bubble mailers. So we got a whole little theme of everything black. Uh, but before I put this in here, I'm going to print out the label so I can cut it out and tape it on on a flat surface before I put this inside. obviously covering everything up. Uh, currently we just use printer paper but eventually we want to buy one of those label makers and I have one of these handy little um, cutty things to help me cut it. We used to just use scissors but that's annoying so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up. And there's our little label. So this part is kind of annoying and this is why a label printer will be nice in the future but basically I just have to rip off pieces of tape and kind of tape it along the outsides without covering any barcodes. And there it is with the label taped onto it. And now we can actually put the package inside. Meow. Yeah. Hi kitty, oh my god. Hi kitty. Okay, and it's finally official. Just gonna seal it and make sure the little uh, tops of that baggie aren't sticking out. And there it is, our finished package. And we are ready to take it to the post office. Meow. Yeah. Hi. Hi kitty. Hi kitty. Oh my god, you're so cute. What are you looking at? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, packaging the order up with me and getting a little tour of the office. Again, if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to let me know and request exactly what you wanna see. Um, we're gonna go on a walk now to the post office, so I'll probably put in some footage of that at the end of the video. But I had a lot of fun doing this with you guys today and I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one, bye!